we're so pumped. We've got Brooke Bell here, who's got a pretty amazing title. Share it with us. I am editor-in-chief of Coke Roll Food Everyday Magazine, and um, it's a new magazine out of Birmingham, Alabama, and it features a lot of really approachable recipes that busy people like us can actually go home at the end of a day and prepare for their families. Because a lot of times we think, okay, if we're going to bake something, we have to allot a lot of time. we got to make sure that we can handle the mess, mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. stuff. You're saying, no, this is a quick and easy recipe, and the whole magazine has those quick and easy right. baking right. recipes. And, you know, you always have a meeting or an event that you need to bring a dessert to, and it might be in the middle of the week and you really don't have time for a long baking project. So we try to keep these recipes very simple and, you know, a very quick bake time. We love it. Okay, good. What are we doing today? So we are making a pistachio white chocolate blondie with a Ooh. little bit of orange zest, and it's going to get three different incorporations of white chocolate. Oh, all right. We'll get our chocolate fix. Okay, okay. Well, how do we start? So we have our flour, and we're going to add all of our dry ingredients together. We've got our baking powder and some salt and that orange zest I was talking about that gives them a really nice bright citrus flavor. You know I notice a lot of recipes that seem to be elevating the baking have the rind. Boiled Absolutely zest. and it's like it's just a touch and it brightens everything mm -hmm. up and gives it a nice depth of flavor. Cool. So we've got some melted butter. Okay. Um, you know a classic base to every blondie recipe. And I love uh, when it's melted because that whole softening of that's butter right. that just Makes takes it time. Fast. Okay. So um, if you want to add the eggs in, we've got our brown sugar, eggs, and butter mixture. We're going to mix this up, and then we're going to Can fold. you do a bowl or a mixer? What do you care? You do not need a mixer for this recipe. Oh, that's good. the beauty of it. So that's one thing that you don't have to get out on a weeknight and, um, you know, clean up after. Exactly. So we're going to add our flour mixture in if you want to sure. just kind of gently incorporate the flour. Now, I notice people who really know how to bake, they say gently incorporate or fold, fold. it in. Why does that make a difference? You know, you're adding a little bit of air to it as you fold. See, you're doing a really nice motion right there. So you're getting a little air incorporated. It's going to keep the batter really nice and light. Oh, gotcha. So okay. Once we get this combined, um, we're going to add our first addition of white chocolate. So it's chopped white chocolate. Um, and then we're going to also add some pistachios into our batter. Now, I see you have the chopped white. Does it matter what type or what should we look for when we're shopping? You know, I would say you want a good quality white chocolate. Okay. Um, you know, it makes a difference. It does. It does. It, it okay. makes a difference. All of it? Yep. Take it all Whoa, in girl. there. That's right. And then we can also add those pistachios in. Do you do unsalted salt? Uh, like, how so do you these pick are it out? unsalted. Okay. That way you can kind of control the amount of salt in the recipe. Right. So we're going to get this nice and combined, and then we are going to pour it into um, our prepared nine-inch cake pan. Did you parchment paper? Parchment, and then you because did a little we're going to use the parchment as a handle. After they're cooled, we're going to take them out of the pan. Oh, to lift them out. And it makes out. it really easy. So we're going to pour. That way you don't have to take your pan to the workplace. That's right. And remember to bring it home. Pour this batter in. Can you hand it? It's always oh, so yeah. heavy. Oh, yeah. There you go. I always ask my kids awesome. to grab the bowl because it's, it. it's awkward and heavy. I know you're a pro, but makes me go. makes me feel useful. Um, and then we're going to use just a small offset spatula mm -hmm. to Get in the corners. Spread our batter evenly into the pan, okay. and then I'm going to let you top it with our second edition of chopped white chocolate. More chocolate. More chocolate. Oh, Get it all goodness. over the top, and then these it. are going to bake for about 25 minutes. Oh, um, quick. You're going to let them cool completely. We have some that have already been baked that we've taken out of the oven. Looks beautiful. And this is the fun part. This is when you get to bring your inner artist out. Yeah. So you're just going to kind of drizzle white chocolate all over the top. You know, I'm not a very good artist. You might not be that <laughs> impressed with what I'm doing here. Meg, you're doing a great job. Okay. You can kind of sling it around a little bit. And um, once you cut it, I'm like, they're going to be beautiful. Wow. That's, you're doing an awesome job. That's so it. melted white chocolate on top. And then we're also going to add some additional pistachios. Okay. All right. Ten seconds left. And then we're going to just do this. You're going to let the chocolate set a little bit, cut them, and enjoy. I love it. All right. Tell us the magazine again. Cook real food every day. <sighs>
Fantastic. Brooke Bell, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Enjoy.